Hi, this is Nikki from Webcraft, and this is a quick uh, quick start tutorial for uh, Splash Screen Pro. So here I have my local WordPress uh, installation, and this is the front end. Uh, let's go over to the dashboard and uh, click the Splash Screen button right here. And this is the uh, home screen that you're going to see. Let's click the uh, new screen button to create a new screen. Well, first of all, you can have uh, multiple screens. Uh, these are all the the ones that I have created already. So let's click uh, and create a new screen. Um, there are two main uh, tabs. One's for the visual editor and the other one is for uh, settings. Uh, by default, every screen that you create is going to be disabled. So let's enable this one and uh, rename it to test. Let's say that we want to show it uh, 10 times to each visitor of our site, save it. And if I go back to my site and hit refresh, here is the screen that we just made. Uh, so the, uh, the visual editor, uh, first you'll see a couple of buttons on the right hand side, uh, one's for preview and one, uh, one is to go full screen. If you click the preview, you're going to see uh, exactly how it will look like in the front end. You can uh, close the preview. Let's let's go full screen uh, just to have some more space to work with. Uh, first of all, those settings on uh, on the right side. You can uh, you can start by uh, well uh, you should start by choosing a layout first. Each uh, each layout is a bit uh, different. For example, uh, this one uh, has two columns, and the contents of the of each uh, box is aligned to the left. If I choose this one, everything is centered, and this one, everything is aligned to the right, including the columns. And one thing to remember here is that. Uh, when you when you change the layout, um, that's going to reset the content. So be be careful when you do that, and make sure that you choose a layout before you start working on your screen. Uh, so let's let's uh, let's choose this layout. Um, below you see settings for the top bar. The top bar is just a little uh, bar with a link. For example, if you don't want to have a button like that in your content, but uh, just in, on the on top, uh, let's uh, show it in the front end. Oops, we forgot to save. Gotta save always. Okay. So this is how the uh, top bar looks like. I can just uh, click this link and it will close the screen. So that's the top bar. Let's turn it off for now. And then we have settings for the background. The background can be a, a solid color. I can change the color and see the, see the changes right away. It can be an image or it can be an HTML5 video. So there's that. Um, about the content, it's based on uh, columns and rows. The columns are highlighted in blue and the rows are highlighted in green. And uh, this plugin uses a 12 column layout system, very, very similar to Bootstrap. For example, both of these columns are, are four columns wide, which means if I make this uh, one column span, this is the width of, of, uh, of, each, uh, of each column. And if I make this, uh, let's make, let's bring this back to four. And if I make this twelve columns wide, it it's going to be as wide as the as wide as the website, as wide as the entire screen. Sorry. Uh, so let's bring it back to four. And you can also, uh, well, first of all, when you when you hover a mouse over a row or a column, you're going to see three buttons. Uh, the first one just deletes an item like that. 
you can also add a new row like this or a new column like this let's go ahead and delete that uh, the second button is for uh, settings I already showed you the settings for uh, for the for the column and these are the settings for the row you can uh, move this uh, window around so when you make changes uh, you go you you will see the changes that you're making right away for example uh, yeah and a row can be either a text image or a video if I click an image it will show me this uh, this smaller window and I can uh, choose an image from my media library and insert it in that row it can also be a video a YouTube video or an HTML5 video for the YouTube video I just uh, paste uh, I just paste my embed code and there's that and for the HTML5 video I need to choose from the media library uh, three formats for the video if I insert the mp4 you can see that it's already playing so let's bring it back to text and like I said there are uh, when you make changes to the to the settings you can see you can see those changes right away so if I want to make this 36 pixels uh, font size I can just do that I can change the typeface let's say open sans and it defaulted to uh, sans serif right now because I don't have uh, because I don't have the uh, open sans typeface in my WordPress installation so I can just click uh, Google fonts and it's going to it's going to import it from uh, from Google uh, I can also change the font weight let's let's uh, bring this back to Roboto I like this better okay I can change letter spacing line height text color again you can see the changes right away and some some other options okay um, let's go ahead and save that well anytime you can click uh, preview to see the progress that you're making let's go ahead and exit full screen mode always remember to save and I can go to the front end, refresh and see the screen that I just made. Thanks for watching this video. In the next series of videos, I'm going to show you how I made uh, each of the demo demos that you saw on the website. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next videos. Bye.